Hey guys, it's Chu, and today in this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to use presets on After Effects. Uh -huh. This is also going to be a showcase on my newest editing bundle, Soft Bundle version 2. And I'll basically go through how to put the presets onto After Effects so you can just drag it on top. And it'll basically just be explaining how to use my presets and stuff, but yeah. So if the first thing you want to do is to find your presets that you want to actually use. So usually it's in the folder or it's in a .ffx file. What you want to do is to right click and copy that folder or uh, you know whatever effect you want. And then uh, you want to make sure you are on this PC in your files and double click this and you want to go into your program files. And then you're going to see Adobe, you want to click that and select which After Effects version you want to have the presets in, so I use 2023. And then you want to go to support files. So this step is important. If you have a folder here called user presets, then basically go into it and paste the presets. But if you don't, you can just create a folder, go here. Um, yeah, just yeah, Cre just create a folder called user presets and then paste it into your user presets folder. So as you can see guys, um, you just paste it here and you can see I have my presets here. Okay, so now, after you've done that, you can just reopen AE, so updates, or you can just go on your effects and presets tabs and click refresh list and the preset should be in here. So right now, um, here are my presets. Uh, you can basically search up the name of the preset folder you want and it should just pop up on here. So here is my soft editing bundle version 2 and I'm going to teach you how to use them. So right now I'm going to teach you how to use, uh, let's go start with Twixstar. Okay, so Twixstar is, Twixstar's right here, there's two settings. So we, we're going to, uh, you want to get basically get your clips, um, enable frame blending, motion blur, and you want to make sure you pre-comp the layer. And you want to drag the twix dot on here. You want to click U on your keyboard so you can basically adjust your keyframes. Okay, so you can basically highlight your keyframes, hold Alt and drag it to adjust it. And um, you can literally do that. It's the same with all the Twixters. So. 2000 years later. Okay, so once you've done your Twix start, uh, you can just copy paste it on all your clips. You might want to add a zoom. So in order to do that, you're just going to go to one of these zooms in. So you can do zoom in right here. As you can see guys, there is a zoom in. So if your character keeps going off the screen, you can actually adjust the center point up here and so you, the full characters in here and you can basically literally copy and paste this onto the next clip okay guys all right so that is how you do the zooms if you want to zoom out you highlight this right click keyframe assistant and time reverse okay that is how to use the, you know the presets we have the brightness and opacity you can literally just drag this onto the clip as well and click Q to see the keyframes. Hold Alt and you can drag them to the end and adjust them where you want. So now it's like a, a really smooth fade out. See, it's, uh, it's uh, basically a smooth fade out and you can just copy and paste it into the next one. We are now going to move on to CC Jaws because it's right here. Uh, just create a solid layer. And then drag your CC jaws and adjust it. So for the continuous slide, obviously you can just pre-comp it again, adjust this. No, straightforward guys. If you want it to go the other way, right click keyframe assistant, time reverse, it'll go the other way straightforward is that i'm gonna move on to the cc's i'm just gonna create adjustment layer and apply the cc As you can see it's the cc dewy cc it's quite nice uh for the blur you would wait 
No, this is not part of my pack. <laughs> Man, I'm dead. I made this recently, but wait, never mind. Oh, what's it doing? Uh, uh. It's for the ghost effect. This is how you use ghost effect. You want to duplicate your clip. You want to play at the top layer. And you can see, guys, it's here. You can literally adjust the ghost flip if you want, like if you want it to last longer. But yeah, that was, I think it's it's adjusted to standard, so you don't really do that. So that's how you use the ghost effect. For impact shakes, you just basically adjust it where you want. You know? The further it is, the longer it will last for. The shorter it is, it's uh, the shorter it will last for, you see? Yep. Okay, moving on to the rotations. For the left rotation, what you do is to adjust it to where it ends and where it starts, like this. So it's like this. And then you do the second one, the bottom. And you'll get like a smooth rotation. You can always adjust this, guys. Like it's, you know, not a big deal. It is the same with the right one, uh, linear white. You wanna do like a few frames before cut it out of the linear white, and you're gonna get this this effect. Very good, guys. You know, it's a good effect. The shift, which is literally a left slide. So L1 means you put this one at the end. So you have this. So now you put the shift L2, so left. So second one, you can extend this to make it smoother. So, yep, you can see that it's okay. Same thing with the right shift. Okay, now I'm gonna teach you how to use my skew shakes. What you wanna do, of course, always make sure you pre-compose. It's gonna give you this. If you're using a different re uh, format resolution, make sure your tile center is the right one. Uh, change all the anchor points position to your tile center. Make sure everything's mirrored and stuff. Click U and you can adjust further like this. By holding Alt, hold Alt, okay. Here's skew two. Personally, my favorite is like the shake here. Um, Straightforward guys. I'll teach you how to do the text. Text straightforward, you just type something. And um add the the glow. You know guys, pretty straightforward. Uh you can add the panning to it, you know, straight you know guys, straightforward guys. Add the the text tint to it, you know. Basically adjust this again, hold alt, drag it. When it's highlighted, you know, you see you get that effect. Alright, for the X pre shake, pretty same thing. Put the pre shake at the end, so it'll just look like this. And you can uh, you can adjust this how you want, but. And then, raise the X shake on top, and then, you know, that is basically the X shake. But guys, that's pretty much it. If that's how I use my presets. It's how I use mine. If you want to purchase my editing bundle, you can use code WSUTube for 10% off. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you so much.